We have Jamie, we are using our infrared because it is starting to get a bit dark and dingy in this side of the world and so our Inkuhumas have now converted themselves into black and white. Now the female that we've got lying like this is actually giving us a nice opportunity to have a look and check up on her wound. So I'm going to quickly pop out of infrared and shine a spotlight just so we can see how her wound is doing because she's lying with her legs fairly exposed and the wound itself is there you can see it's a little slit but it is definitely healing you can see it's healthy tissue there there's no infection there's no sort of necrosis of that area so she's looking much better and you can see she's been keeping it nice and clean nice and groomed in that area she's been licking a lot and making sure that she keeps it in a healthy condition but I'm quite glad it's smaller than the last time I saw it. it it looks quite big and long but it's definitely starting to close up a little bit so she's looking much better than that big deep hole that we saw the other day so I'm going to take my light off and we'll go back into infrared I just wanted to quickly have a quick scan of her wound and make sure that she's looking okay she certainly has got no ill effects otherwise her ears healed up quite nicely she had that little gash on her ear and I was looking at that just now there's really no sign of it being open anymore it's all closed up there's a little cub that's woken up now it's that time of the day that they should start waking oh bless you <laughs> that was a big sneeze there's lots of dust in the air. Seb and I have been sneezing just like that the whole day. So we feel your pain, buddy. Or lady, should I say. It's a little girl that we've got there. It, that's the best thing about this lit or these sub-adults, should we say, that we've got in the Inkuma Pride at the moment is that they're all females besides one so theoretically the Inkuma pride if these guys all make it should go to 10 lines now can you imagine 10 Inkuma females walking around together and all being in big healthy condition i fear for any buffalo that comes across those 10 girls because they're going to have a tough time of it and hopefully in the new litter we will have maybe one or two females and one or two males it would be nice if there's two males there that can join our young boy that is here and hopefully they can form a nice coalition of three and he'll be able to dominate somewhere in the future years but you'll see that this is how it's going to start a little bit of grooming a little bit of sort of licking and making sure that they get rid of any parasites that potentially have crawled on them during the day also get rid of any loose fur from rolling around and then there'll be a bit of yawning and from there they'll start to stand up and start moving the general direction was north during this morning but I wonder if they're not going to turn back towards that carcass and towards quarantine I'm surprised that with the vulture activity that they haven't already moved in that direction I'm hoping that they will go for water at the dam again and go down to the dam cam and then from there to the quarantine kill I was saying to Seb imagine if we come tomorrow and there's four Birmingham's and the entire Nkuma pride all around that buffalo wouldn't that be just the most incredible sight I'm not sure if we've ever had that in Safari Live maybe you can let us know hashtag Safari Live or on the YouTube chat if there's ever been a sighting of all four Birmingham's with the Nkuma pride it would be really cool if we did it would be such an epic shot of those guys because we'd have you know 15 lions that are all big and healthy and it would be an amazing sort of look of especially if they all walk down the road together that would be the best if you could see that uh, there's a, remember there's a famous shot of the Majingalan males when they I think there was four three or four of them together with the Ifield pride if I remember correctly and them walking down the road and it's just an amazing to see all these big males and females and cubs kind of <laughs> so snazzy you say oh my goodness imagine 10 girls in one family well snazzy i don't have much um experience with girls because i had a brother so it was, my poor mom was unfortunately had to deal with three boys but seb you've got two ladies in your life what's it like imagine having 10 yeah wow. seb is just shaking his head and just saying no no chance <laughs> so seb has got he's got his wife and his, and his daughter and um so imagine having 10 daughters, Seb. That would be a tough time of it. Seb has already said that uh, he's going to have to get his gun license and, and make sure that he keeps everybody at bay as his daughter starts to get older. So yep. for all those men out there that are thinking about that, you just settle down. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. So Seb is nodding in agreement yep. right now.